Good afternoon. Um, my presentation this uh, afternoon will also be on behalf of uh, Diana Slegerman of the Institute of Marine Resources and Ecosystem Studies. Um, the Netherlands have been and still is collecting a lot of data from um, uh, the Dutch Caribbean, the Dutch Caribbean islands of Aruba, Curaçao, Bonaire, Seba, St. Eustatius and um, uh, St. Martin. Um, since 2010, the focus is primarily on Bonaire, Seba and the Seba Bank and uh, St. Eustatius. As since that uh, year, the Netherlands Antilles do not exist anymore. Aruba, Curaçao and St. Martin are independent countries within the Kingdom of the Netherlands with their own responsibilities while Bonaire, Seba and St. Eustatius are special municipalities of um, uh, the Netherlands. Um, I, I'm also not speaking on behalf of the Netherlands or on behalf of the Caribbean Netherlands. I'm just giving an overview of what the, the Netherlands is doing in the, in the Caribbean. Um, well, if you look at the technology available in the Netherlands, uh, it is technology that is um, uh, used in the framework of the International Coastal Atlas Network, uh, the National Oceanogra Oceanographic Data Committee, um, Sea Data Net, as to disclose all European oceanographic data on portal level and uh, make a link with the Global Ocean Data Portal. Um, I can also add to that the Global Biodiversity Information Facility. Um, the integration of databases and the development uh, and adaptation of um, uh, standards, uh, integrated management of data and metadata, use of open standards like OGC, Inspire REST, and uh, open software like PostGIS, GeoServer, uh, Drupal. Um, if we look at information products that may be relevant for CMA2. Um, I think we can talk about monitoring of resources uh, and mapping, like um, uh, habitats, fish, lobster, conch, marine mammals, sharks, birds, uh, and different, uh, different pressures, water quality, litter invasive species on one side, and then um, uh, policy advice. Policy advice for management plans, marine spatial planning, um, uh, as um, uh, an input um, uh, to uh, facilitate uh, international and national <coughs> reporting obligations and uh, local management um, for, well, all different kind of uh, purposes that focus on nature and uh, biodiversity. Um, if you look at monitoring, uh, the Netherlands is developing a database for safe storage of monitoring data for international reporting, I just explained, nature management purposes. And this um, uh, database, um, uh, people can input their data, edit their data, download data, and do uh, analysis as well. Um, looking at maps that uh, we produce, they are, they are basically GIS-based uh, uh, map viewer to help managers and plot um, uh, monitoring data. And um, uh, then um, uh, we are making a repository of, of researches, of resources, publications that can be searched through by data ty type, by um, uh, geographic location, and uh, by theme. Is it about governance? Is it about legislation? Is it education and outreach? Or is it research and, uh, and monitoring? Um, if you look at um, uh, um, organizations in the Netherlands that are collecting data uh, with a focus on, on, on especially Bonaire, St. Eustatius, Seba, Seba Bank, a little bit um, uh, Curaçao, then you have a wide range of different uh, institutions like the Minister of Economic Affairs, primarily uh, concerned with nature management, fisheries and biodiversity. Uh, the Ministry of Infrastructure and Environment, looking at pollution, 
uh, current patterns, those kind of things. Uh, my five minutes are over. <laughs> <laughs> and you all had to wait so long for my presentation. Well, um, just to skip it, it's about bathymetry, scientific data, geological data, soil collections in our museum. Um, we have uh, the Royal Netherlands Institute of Sea Research that, that's managing the uh, marine data and uh, the Dutch Caribbean Nature Alliance that is um, uh, um, hosting this database. All the Dutch Caribbean data are included, or, well, they should be included in this uh, database, built and maintained by Wageningen University and um, uh, the Dutch Caribbean Nature Alliance, funded by the Ministry of Economic Affairs. There is a website you can go to and scroll through this, this database. Well, it looks like this. There is monitoring section, map section, resource section. And if you, well, okay, let's skip the other one. Um, what can we do for CMA2, or what can CMA do for us? It all depends on uh, funding um, that we can uh, secure. Um, and of course, there are all kinds of things that are possible, all have a different um, uh, budget um, uh, attached to it. But my major concern is that um, um, the data that we are collected, I would like to see that we can provide an added value to that, that the rest of the Caribbean can profit from the data that we have, from the expertise that we have, and can use these data also for their plans and their management issues, etc. And on the other hand, we can make use of the data of the Caribbean region um, uh, as well, also for our management purposes. And just to give an example, if you, for instance, look at lobster fisheries around Synthestatius, um, you have a healthy population of lobsters, so you set your catch quota for these lobsters, but the um, uh, juveniles, they do not come from Synthestatius. They, they, they hatch somewhere in, in Trinidad and Tobago or whatever, and they flow with the, the currents, and it, in the end, they end up at Synthesia. So if you want to really manage your lobster population, you also have to see what happens um, uh, during the, the transport of eggs and, and, and juveniles to the place where eventually um, they, uh, they end up. So that is why I think data sharing and working together is, uh, is very important for marine management. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.